Hello and welcome. Welcome back. If you aren't new and you're familiar, you've seen my face on your screen a couple times. Uh, for those of you who are new, my name is Alicia and this is basically a little bit of my daily life. Things I like to do here and there. Um, but at the moment, I'm currently taking on Canada or a Kiwi taking on Canada. So some of you may be aware, when I first got to Canada, I went on a three week camper trip with a friend of mine that is from here, Chase, and we did all sorts of fun things. But one thing that we did was we did a rafting tour with a company called Outback Rafting. But that's what I want to talk to you a little bit about today, um, about Outback Rafting, how rafting went, uh, what I think of it, and whether you should give it a go. The rapids and the experience all together were absolutely amazing and I would do it again. It's just not as thrilling as I thought it would be. I've done rapids before and I've done waterfalls. The waterfalls are different to the rapids. Um, but I, yeah. The other point that I have is the guide makes all of the difference. Like all the difference. So our guide's name was Alejandro and the fact that I can remember that alone means that he was a great guide. It's important for the guide to, especially if you're in a boat full of people that you don't know, to try and introduce everybody, get people talking, break the ice. That's why you need people with big personalities and that are going to bring people out of their shells. The last thing you want is a silent boat ride and nobody talking and getting along. Um, so he was great for that. He also introduced what allowed us to jump off the boat and the whole point, there's a point where we pull people back on, like a rescue, um, and then there is, oh, he also played a game with us where you had the option to stand on the front of the boat and spin around while the boat was also spinning. I had a go at this and I was really excited to have a go at this. I was terrible at it and there's a clip of it. I will put it in for you guys while I'm talking, but, I thoroughly enjoyed that and you can even hear him afterwards say something like, oh you jumped kind of, I did jump, you can see that I jumped and somersaulted, um, but I was trying to stay on, it was difficult. <laughs> Point being, I had a good time and the guide made that happen. Um, he was really good at pointing out things, the, the scenery, things that were going on, he kept people talking, kept people engaged and that was the most important part. He also, there was an individual on our boat, her name, I've forgotten her name, but she was from Quebec. Um, lovely, lovely person, but she'd done it alone. So when we were having money tea and people were off in their little groups or their partners talking to each other, people that they knew, she didn't have anybody to talk to. So he made sure to like spend some time with her, talking to her, get to know her. I mean, the ki like kindness goes a long way. But I mean, Canadian people are super kind anyway. So thoroughly enjoyable, great experience and the guide makes it worth it and this place seems to hire pretty good guides the rest of them on the bus gave introductions they gave a joke they started introducing themselves like so they were trying to break the ice right from the very beginning um we didn't have much interaction with the other guides but i can imagine they had similar experiences on their boats with the guides talking to them and getting people involved so when we were booking, we chose the Alaho Exhilarator, which is, or Exhilarator, is the class three and four single day rapid in Squamish, on the Squamish River. There's a couple of things to note for when we did go. It was a very dry summer, so there hadn't been a lot of rain, which means the river was lower. It was also a beautiful day, not a whole heap of wind. So we're probably looking at more class three rather than the class four rapids but it was still an enjoyable experience. Um, I'll definitely add in some clips or some B-roll here for you guys to see what it was really like.
rafting company were incredible. They provided us with all of the wetsuit equipment. They provided their own boats. Uh, they provided with the option for GoPros. So on your helmet, you could pick a GoPro with a camera mount and bring your own GoPro. They did not charge you extra for doing that. Um, or you can hire one of their GoPros and they'll give you the footage off of them which is pretty cool. And then all of the tour guides also wear GoPros and to get their footage, I believe you have to pay for it, but you can also get their footage of your journey, which is pretty cool. Um, in terms of loading and unloading the boats, when you first get there, you go through a little bit of a briefing. They fit you out into all of your gear. Um, all of the boats are already loaded in trailers and on top of the bus. Oh, the bus is also included. So they will, you arrive at the rafting campus or loft area where they store everything and then they take you to the river point and then they also take you back so you drive further to get there and then you drive you go down the river doing your whitewater rafting and then when you get to the end point you jump out put everything out back on the bus you have to help load it though and then you head back to where you started from so those are both included they also include a morning tea i guess they call it or a snack it was, for us at least, it was a cliff bar and some iced tea, which is, seems to be very Canadian. When you're booking, you can either book for, if you're taking a big group, you can book a boat for yourself. Or if you're going in groups of two, like Chase and I did, then you can book just as your two people. And then they fill the boat up with either staff members or... Uh, other people if you are interested in booking i will leave a link to their website down in the descriptions below it's not sponsored at all we just had a really good experience with these guys there's beautiful scenery the whole way down the river um there is a, the potential to see bears eagles anything that would be in the canadian kind of forest so deer elk maybe a moose but i think that one might be unlikely um but yeah, on our way driving in and out, we saw an elk and a bear, a black bear. So that was pretty cool in itself. Um, also, if you go, depending on the season you go, the salmon, the salmon runs, you can also potentially see or smell that. Apparently, sometimes it's not the best smell because they don't all make it up the rivers. And if you're a little bit worried, like you've never been rafting before, don't worry. They teach you all of the commands and what they want you to do at the very beginning anyway. So they teach you forward, back, um, try and encourage you to keep in line or in time with the people. I don't know if it's the people in front, or people in front of you, not the people opposite you. Um, but yeah, that was a little bit about at the specific company we went with. I already mentioned it's class 3 and 4 rapids, but they also have other different trips that are lower class rapids and they have multiple day trips. We just did the single day trip, but yeah, I encourage you to check it out if you're interested. I wanted to say a huge thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you get notified when I upload. I will put a video in the information card at the top here about one of our other videos from our travels, probably us exploring Jasper, which is one of my most recent ones. Um, and look forward to some, or what to expect or some tips for taking on a truck camper. Um, but that is all I have for this video. I, again, hope you have enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. If you have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to comment them down below. But for now, peace. All I need are some better days, cause all I want and I pray, I believe in the better days.